everybody welcome back to my channel thank you guys so much for being here go ahead and subscribe yes because we're talking about oh nice veins like that don't y'all just love my veins okay y'all know this is number one right that's your first choice your second choice your third choice right you guys know that okay cool nice right <laughs> subscribe hit the hit the uh like button just go ahead and hit the like button thumbs up button now and turn your notification bell on so that you don't miss any uploads because, but this is look at that i just can't i just love love this i love the view do you guys love like the view yes that's why you want to stick around that's why you want to subscribe but we're not talking about these wonderful veins what we're going to talk about today are the ones that sit deep okay this one is not deep but do you know and have you had those where you're like, oh my gosh, I feel it. It's deep. It's in there. What do I do? This is when you want to practice. This is when you want to use your straight needles. It, it doesn't make sense to get a butterfly for veins like this. It just doesn't. I just, I'm just not for it. I, yeah, I'm just not. We'll get into that, more into that, you know, later. But we are going to use Elmo again today, his poor little arm here, because what we're talking about, we have discussed what last few days we've discussed how to redirect we've talked about blood flow what to do those three moves as far as if you're in and you're not getting anything we've talked about if you're in the vein how to pull back and that gradual gentle movement to the right and of course come back nothing over there and then this is how you make those gentle moves and then again you know back to the that's to the left i'm sorry that's a quick redirect now when veins sit really deep the thing is you know where the vein sits so you go slightly below it you go in because you're still you're on that vein it's just a deep vein so once you're in then you have the ability to adjust and your needle and go in until you puncture it. That's the beauty of a straight needle. Look at all this needle. Now, all of this may not end up in the arm and the vein, but it's leverage, okay? Your butterfly needles are not this long. They're not this long, okay? And like I said, it's not that you have to put it all in the arm and it's, or the needle, but if you have a deep vein, someone or a couple people have seen me stick several times and because they didn't know anything, they were like, oh my gosh, you got the entire needle in the arm because it's a deep vein. That's why sometimes if you see a butterfly and it looks like all of the needle is, is gone or you don't see it and it's in the arm, it's because it's a deep vein and the butterfly needle, the shaft is shorter. So that's what that looks like. So in a case like this, a deep vein again, you want to go below it, just slightly below it, not too far below it, but your bevel is what's going to, of course, go in there. Once you're in, then you make that slider. Don't dive. This, this is not a good look, okay? You do have the angle, the angle that we go in the vein at, okay? And then if it's a deep, a deep needle, you do go downward, but it's still at a gentle, it, it's still that angle. This may not, yeah, it does look like an angle. It's not this, okay? That's a no-no. It's still a slight up and in, and that's it. That's all you're doing with these deep veins. Just make sure that you, you know where it is, and then you go, just below that to give that leverage and you're in the vein it's easier than this looks this may not look like it makes sense i mean for god's sakes we're using elmo but at the same time that's pretty much how you want to address and handle and go for these deep veins it's your job to just assess and you're assessing and you're feeling and you're going for it. So this is a two for one. The other thing that I wanted to show and mention the shift switching hands again. Uh, this is a rat a this is a right-handed person setup. And just for sake of um, supposing, let's just suppose we needed all of these tubes, correct? And we've already gotten our first tube, as you can see, we have blood in it. Okay, and we stuck with our right. Correct. Now I've stuck with my right. Okay. I'm getting my blood. My blood is spilling. And 
everyone says where well, you're not supposed to switch hands. So you mean to tell me I'm supposed to do all of this, correct? Okay, or, or I could put them here, or if I'm left, you see what I mean? It's just too much confusion. It's too much confusion because if I were left-handed, I would still have, it would be awkward, right? So stick with your right. This gives you leverage. It gives you stability. And now you have everything on the side that you need, vice versa. If I stuck with my left hand, okay, I stuck with my left hand and I want to hold with my right, then I have everything on the opposite side and I can make adjustments and move things around the way that I need. The reason I switch hands also is because this is my dominant hand. All of my supplies are over here. It's easier for me to insert and remove the tubes with my dominant hand, okay? I can use the, the feet of the holders better. I can remove the tubes better. Just so many things can go right by switching and having control versus not switching and not having control or even just having things where you need to have them. So I hope that makes sense. Uh, I know I just babbled through this video because Kenny started barking and I had to cut it short there for a minute or run out um, for whatever. But this is me switching hands. I stuck with my right, I switch, and like I said, use whichever fingers, however it feels good to you, do that. My pinky always ends up on the back side of my patient's arm. Patient's arm is here and my pinky is under the arm. There's no, there's not going to be any movement of my needle because my index finger is holding the hub. I'm not contaminating the needle. It's, it stops right here. I'm holding that. I have control because of the, my finger on the arm and my thumb is holding the holder here. This right here is control. Now, nothing's moving. Like some people say, well, when I put the tube in and pull it out, I move the needle. That's because you don't have control. That's because you've not switched hands and made it comfortable for you. You have to make this comfortable for you, especially when you get into the field, especially when you get out into the real world. So the deep veins, you got that. You know how to switch. Yes, I teach switching because it's all about comfort for you. If you're not comfortable, you're going to injure yourself and possibly injure your patient or both. And that's a possibility because if you're not comfortable and you're moving around and this is moving and the needle could slip out, you could slip out. Now you've got blood going everywhere. Now you're nervous. You'll possibly prick yourself in the midst of the chaos trying to stop the bleeding and it's just too much. So make it make it comfortable for you make it comfortable for you. And that's what that's what this whole thing is with deep veins and even shaking hands, that's a way to control uh, your shaking if, if, it, if it is your nerves. Get some control. Outside of that, like I said earlier today, then you have an issue. You may not want to jump into this field if it's a, your nerve, nervous system that causes you to shake. You don't want to go after people with the needle. They're going to see it. Your patients are going to be like, no ma'am, no sir, get someone else. You know, you're not sticking me. Why are you shaking? You're shaking too much. So yes, just wanted to do that real quick. It's really about the deep veins. But then of course I got into the uh, switching hands because a lot of you seem to like that topic. And if you ever want me to go over, you know, that at any time, even sticking myself, I do not have a problem with that. As long as you guys thumbs up, share, like, comment, I'll do it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know and I'll be back with another video really, really soon. I'll see you guys later. Bye.